Hi, this is Ray with BeekeepingUSA.com. Today we're going to look at screen bottom boards. A screen bottom board is the foundation of the hive. It is also a mechanical way of treating for mites. No chemicals are used with a screen bottom board. We do rely on the hygienic traits of the honeybees. Bees will actually clean off mites from each other. As the mites become dislodged, the mites fall through the screen and out of the hive. Because the mites fall out of the area the bees walk, they cannot reattach to other bees. Additionally, brood cappings will fall through the screen also. Please note that a screen bottom board is your first line of defense against mites. A screen bottom board allows the beekeeper insight to treat or not to treat the hive if used properly. Let's take a closer look at the screen bottom board. I am standing in the rear of the hive. Here is the landing board. The entrance reducer plays a vital part of the hive. The small opening is for the winter, so it reduces cold drafts within the hive. The larger opening is for the summer and allows more bee traffic to enter and exit the hive. It should be noted a reducer allows the guard bees to properly defend the hive. If you take the reducer out completely, it will allow a weaker defense of the hive. You will want to utilize the reducer year round. The mites will fall through the screen when they are dislodged from the bee. Now let's talk about the sticky board. The sticky board should be cleaned on a monthly basis from mid-spring to mid-fall. To clean the debris board, you will want to use a hive tool to dislodge debris from the corrugated plastic board. Then use a soapy warm cloth with water and gently finish the cleaning. Now reinsert the sticky board. You are now ready to start the 24-hour mite drop monitoring. At the end of the 24-hour monitoring period, you will want to pull out the mite board and count the mites. And how I do that is I take it section by section looking at the mites. Mite counts will dictate if you need to treat for mites. The rule is a treatment is needed if 25 mites or more drop during the 24-hour monitoring period. I leave my sticky board in year-round for two reasons. First, during the spring to summer season, it does not allow small high beetles to fly up into the hive. Second, during the fall and winter, the sticky board allows a minimal insulation factor to the hive. Now let's talk about painting the screen Painting the screen bottom board is important. You'll want to use 15-year exterior latex paint. Two coats are necessary. Paint only where the water will make contact with the wood. Never paint the inside of the hive. This is the top view of the screen bottom board. The sideboards, both on the top and on the bottom, will need to be painted, along with the landing area will need to be painted through to where the wood is attached to the screen. Also, the back brackets underneath will need to be painted. Anything that comes in contact with the hive stand will need to be painted. When do you use a screen bottom board? You can use a screen bottom board exclusively if your winter temperatures do not go consistently below 25 degrees. If your area goes below 25 degrees consistently, then you'll want to utilize a solid bottom board during late fall, winter, and early spring. A solid bottom board will give your hive a higher insulation factor during these cold months. Thank you for shopping at BeekeepingUSA.com.